Yes, we, I, I would not say that they are perfect or uh, they have the full capacity of it. There are capacity limitations are there, resource limitations are there, the terrorism threat are there. But today there is a central government and federal member states. There is no one single territory today in Somalia that's not controlled by a legitimate locally elected uh, uh, administration in Somalia. So it's taking shape now. Somalia is taking shape to coming back together with uh, negotiated democratic uh, principles. Uh, people, Somali people, they mainly depend on uh, negotiations and dialogue and consultations. We have, uh, today here we have the African Leadership Forum. In Somalia we have the National Leadership Forum, whereby the central state leadership and the federal member states leadership get together and dialogue the issues. The instruments of the state are under review, constitution is under review. We are still reviewing the political party system, the electoral system, building constitutional commissions, independent constitutional commissions. Things are getting more and more formal shape now in Somalia. It's much, much better than it has been in the last 30 years. And the clan issues? The clan issues is a social factor. It's there and it will remain there. But when it's politicized, that's when it's problematic. The clan, when it's, it is a traditional context, it's very useful. It's one of the reasons why Somalia, there was no genocide in the civil war, because of the clan culture, traditions, elders and all this. But when it's politicized, when politicians are using, when the politicians are using the clan as a means to get their end, political end, that's when it's problematic. Okay. Clans are there and they will remain there, but what the government is trying is now people going more to the state institution than depending on the clan. During the civil war, during the difficult times, people were depending on the clan and clan elders and the clan system. But now as the state structure is taking shape, people are also moving towards the state and in, in political terms and in service delivery terms, all this. People are moving towards the state now. Okay. Finally, you have African states like Nigeria, Kenya, where people are not trusting the central government. They want uh, a loosening up. In Nigeria, the term is restructuring. They don't like the, the state of the state. Mm -hmm. uh, what, lessons from uh, Somalia? Lessons from Somalia is the same. For example, right now we have uh, power of the state has been taken from the center. And uh, it didn't reach the lower level. There are some people who are keeping it in the middle. But it's a normal routine process. It will reach down. We have taken the power from the center and we make regional administrations or states, regional states. Now the second phase is going to local governance, local councils. Elect their elections are going to happen before 2020. So it's evolving, you know, progressively it's moving forward. But that phenomenon is there. All right. What's the good thing about Somalia that you think people don't know or people should one thing that people should know Somalia is uh, Somalia is a very rich country. Circumstances only has compelled it to look like that. In terms of richness, in terms of resources, strategic location, in terms of people who are very dynamic when it comes to business, entrepreneurial, innovation, very creative people we have. All this put together is what makes Somalia a, a place where in the near future uh, will be a very, very a uh, spot that Africa can be proud of. Thank you so much, thank Professor. Thank you. thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, Sierra Leone is still receiving aid from neighbors and the international community following the mudslide that claimed more than 400 people in the capital, Freetown. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Jeff Yonyama, was in Freetown during the week to present relief materials worth $1 million to his counterpart, Samura Koroma, the relief materials included bags of rice, beans, maize, sorghum, milk, spoons, plates, mattresses, blankets, roofing sheets, soaps, mosquito nets, mats, and of course medical supplies, plus a cash donation of one million dollars. We are flying in almost constantly uh, large quantities of supply, of food supplies, of medical supplies, and also a uh, cash uh, donation of a million dollars. As you can see, this is one of our big transport planes. 
and it has done already four sorties and normally it will be doing another 16 sorties mm. carrying about 315 metric tons of uh, food and, uh, and medicines and um, so there's still more that will be coming uh, the quantity is so large that we might also have to be delivering some uh, by sea but uh, this is really a, uh, a token of, uh, of our solidarity with the people of uh, Sierra Leone. You are very much in our hearts, very much in our prayers, and uh, by the grace of God, this will be a distant memory in the not too distant future. We are not being able to first um, have a, a full, quite a good number of properties lost, but as huge as well over 800 properties were here. We have Statistics Sierra Leone that is helping us, and then Office of National Security also giving us some estimates. But in terms of lives, we have uh, quite a number of well over, well over 8,000 displaced persons. We have well over 400, um, close to 400 deaths, including men and women and children. Nigeria and Sierra Leone share special relationship in that the Nigeria through ECOMOG has been involved in peacekeeping in Sierra Leone and is still committed to promoting peace and stability in the country. Just last year, both countries held the second session of their joint commission. They discussed the consolidation of trade ties, acknowledging a low level of economic cooperation between the two countries. Delegates at the meeting also worked on issues aimed at improving technical cooperation. You're watching Diplomatic Channel. We'll take a break now. When we return, we check in on the migrant situation in Europe. Please stay with us.